Welcome to Galen IAS Botany Optional Program. Today we are discussing a previous year question from 2018 Civil Service Mains exam. And the question is from the Unit 2 of Paper 2. And the question is from the genetic part. The question is grey seed colour in peas is dominant over the white. In the following experiments, parents with non phenotypes but unknown genotypes produce the following progeny. The parents and the progenies are listed there using the Letter capital G for grey and small g for white give the genotype of each parent. This is a 10 mark question. So maximum you get two sides to answer this question. And since it is a 10 mark question, you have to complete this question within 7 minutes. Before writing the answer, you have to identify the key terms of that particular question. Here they are mentioned that grey is dominant over white. Grey dominant and white recessive and the letter denotes gray is capital G and the letter denotes white is small g. The possibilities of the gray is in homozygous condition or in heterozygous condition. Capital G, capital G. Either the gray can be seen in capital G, capital G homozygous condition or in capital G small g heterozygous condition gray is dominant so it can seen either in homozygous or in heterozygous condition here white which is recessive so the only possibility of white which is small g small g so you so here the question is demanding the to identify the genotypes of the parent. The question is demanding to identify the genotype of parents. So here we have to identify the genotypes of the 10 different parents. Before writing this, you have to give a intro the contributions of Mendel and the dominant and recessive gene and the intro must be short and precise. So after the introduction part, let's come to the body part. On the body part, you have to address the genotype of the five different parents. So we will find it out. The first is grey is crossed with white. The first parent which is grey is crossed with white and the progenies obtained the 82 grey and 78 white. Grey crossed with white and the progenies obtained the 82 grey and 78 white. To obtain both grey and white progenies the grey must be in or the dominant parent must be in heterozygous condition then only it can produce both grey and white progeny. So the genotype of the parent which is capital G small g and here it is small g small g. From here we get capital G and small g here small g capital G small g small g small g. gray and white in the 1 is to 1 ratio which is approximately equal to 72, 82 and 78. So the 82 and 78 which is approximately equal to the 1 is to 1 ratio. So here the genotype of the first parent which is capital G small g and the other one is small g small g. So next, grey is crossed with the second parent, grey is crossed with grey and the progeny is obtained the 118 grey and 39 white. Grey crossed with grey and the progeny is 118 grey and 39 white. Here also we get both the progenies, grey and white. To obtain both the grey and white progenies both the parents must be in heterozygous condition then only it can produce both grey and white progenies. So here capital G small g capital G small g we get capital G and small g 
here also we get capital G small g capital G capital G capital G small g capital G small g small g small g 3 gray 1 white in the 3 is to 1 ratio here also 118 gray and 39 white which is equal to the 3 is to 1 ratio so here the genotype of the parent is capital G small g and capital G small g and the third parent white is crossed with white and the progeny is obtained the 0 gray and 50 white the only possibility of white is small g small g if capital g is there it cannot express its tribe so in the absence of the dominant character the recessive character will express its trite so here the only possibility which is small g small g here also which is small g small g we get g small g small g all white here also all are white zero gray progenies are produced so here the genotype of the third parent which is small g small g and small g small g So the fourth parent which is grey is crossed with white and the progeny is obtained the 74 grey and 0 white. Grey crossed with white and the progeny is obtained the 74 grey and 0 white. So here 0 white progenies are produced. If 0 white progenies are produced the dominant parent or the grey must be in dominant homozygous condition then only it can produce all as gray if it is dominant heterozygous condition it can produce both gray and white in the one is to one ratio so here zero whites are produced and 74 gray are produced so here the genotype of the dominant parent must be in heterozygous condition capital G sorry in homozygous condition capital G capital G and here it is small g small g here we get capital G here we get small capital G small g all gray here also all are gray 74 gray and 0 white are so all are gray so the genotype of the fourth parent which is capital G capital G and small g small g and the fifth one which is gray is crossed with gray 90 gray and 0 white are produced gray is crossed with gray 90 gray and 0 white here no white progenies are obtained so the parent must be in dominant homozygous condition all are gray so both the parents must be in homozygous dominant condition capital G capital G capital G capital G here we get capital G all all gray so we have so here the genotype of the fifth parent which is capital G capital G and capital G capital G we identified all the genotypes of the parents and we answer the question up to the demand 
of that particular question. Stay tuned on our channel for more updates related botany optional. Thank you for watching.